Hello, John, John McConnell here with UpsideDownRealEstate.com and McConnell and Company Realty. I'm a lawyer and a realtor. We've negotiated hundreds of loan workouts. My brokerage has closed about 100 short sales. We recently hired another realtor who's closed about 100. So we've closed hundreds of short sales. We, uh, we've negotiated many loan workouts with the bank and we're following up on, I'm so tired of people asking me the question, why is this on the other guy's website? If had realtors ask me, I've had clients ask me that I felt like doing, and, and I've spoken with this at the CAR conference as a lawyer to hundreds of realtors. They asked me to talk to them about this at the CAR conference. Um, i really like to settle this. And we've pointed out that we saw many um, approval letters, and I put parentheses around those because they didn't approve a release of the remaining loan balance. And um, I can do a little talk about the difference between a mortgage and a lien theory state. Let me just say this, that we have a lien, in California we have a lien and a loan. And we'll get to mortgage if we have time. But here is, this issue has been going on for so long, the California Association of Realtors Legal Department put out this new form that realtors make, they must make their clients sign it. They did it uh, at the end of last year. And it's great stuff. I think everyone should read this before they sign a listing agreement with any realtor or real estate brokerage. I consider that mandatory. It should be just like the uh, the the disclosure about um, the authority to the, of the agent to represent you or the so the, the so-called AD. This this is actually more important for people in a short sale. And let me just go over section three. All of this is great stuff. But lender agreement to short sale. In order for a short sale to be completed, the lenders at a minimum, at a minimum, must ag agree to release the property from the lender's lien to allow the sale. The lenders may or may not agree to reduce the amount owed to satisfy the debt. If not, the lenders may continue to pursue the borrower for the payment of the balance of the debt. Prior to granting approval of the sale, the lenders may require the borrower to disclose all of the borrower's assets. They may they, they go through the whole thing. This you're dealing with a collection company. You are being asked to disclose a roadmap to the bank. If you do not utilize all your strengths, if you don't tell your lender you're prepared to not give them your taxes, you're prepared to to not you're prepared to exercise some privacy rights under California. You're prepared to, to send legal letters challenging the lender's rights, all in the setup to get them to release the deficiency in writing, there's a good chance you're not going to get it done. With Bank of America, we saw numerous, the, there are numerous examples of their approval letters not releasing the remaining loan balance. Well, I can tell you if you were working with a lawyer who knows how to negotiate with Bank of America, if those were non-recourse loans, you would have gotten the written deficiency. And you would have had a shot at getting it if you didn't. Um, but it's unacceptable to be working with Bank of America and not have a lawyer on your team in order to get that language changed. Um, here, the bank is, the Association of Realtors legal team is telling you it's not enough. It may not be is probably how they'd like to say it, but here they're actually telling you it's not enough to get to just get a lien released if you're looking to be released from the remaining loan balance. Let me just review it again. In order for a short sale to be completed, the lenders at a min minimum must agree to release the property from the lender's liens to allow the sale. The lenders may or may not agree to reduce the amount owed to satisfy the debt. Therefore, if you're looking at approvals that do not deal with a, with a release that's going to be a competent release under the law in California, presumably you're going to have a lawyer telling you what sort of language is satisfactory. But if you don't get that release in writing, if you're just getting a lien release and you're telling your your sellers, you're you're telling people that that's all you need in California. Um, frankly, I, I don't understand where someone has has the marketing gall to do that. And I think that all sellers should be working with someone who has the professional credibility and concern for your future and for your assets and just for your peace of mind and your health to not put out poor information and to really try to get you, you know, you should come first. That's the bottom line. Your future comes first.